Now for day 28 of our plant hormone and carrot tissue culture experiment. We can see from our plates that um, they're still there <laughs> the, and that the tissue is growing. We also unfortunately have some mold on one of the plates. Fortunately, it's uh, one where one of the pieces of tissue uh, must have been killed by the bleach and the other piece uh, there wasn't a lot of growth now with the mold here uh, it's it's isolated it's right over here in this corner and it looks to me like there's a break right here in the parafilm so I think the the mold uh, snuck in from outside and that also uh, it tells me that the other experiment the one with the um, the tubes, the uh, test tubes, where it all failed, uh, perhaps if I had parafilmed them, uh, that they wouldn't have um, become contaminated. Here's some callus medium up close. We can see that it's, uh, it's growing. Um, the, in the uh, lower right-hand one, I like, uh, I, wanted, I like these because you can see right here the original piece of tissue that was introduced onto the medium. You can see it there. And you can see all of the callus cells that have grown uh, off of that piece of tissue. We can also uh, see there's other that there's other genetic reprogramming here going on other than just um, the, the reprogramming from root parenchyma cells to these sort of meristematic like uh, callus cells because instead of having those carrot root cells with um, the the chromoplast with that would they would primarily have chromoplasts um, filled with carotenoids uh, like we still see some you know evidence of that around up here instead we're seeing uh, a green tint uh, which suggests that there could be some uh, chloroplast development uh, that's starting. Here's our progression of the callus from day zero all the way to day 28. Um, and we're just seeing uh, growth. This is growth uh, without differentiation into any type of organ. So that part of the experiment is, is pretty much done. Uh, we were able to produce callus. So I wanted to take the tissue and set up the um, experiment that failed again. And when I set it up the first time, uh, I used whole pieces of carrot root. Uh, and it's really the, the proper way to do it is to start with callus anyway. So I'm just doing it properly. And the intent of this experiment is to differ the auxin and cytokinin ratios to mimic the experiment that was done by Skoog and Miller and published in 1957 where they first demonstrated that cytokinins and the, the ratio of cytokinins to auxins can initiate different um, plant organs. So the um, callus, as you can see right, right here, I took it and I cut it up I took it off of all the petri dishes and I cut it up into smaller pieces and I introduced it onto petri plates this time, um, all of which are, cover, are, are sealed with parafilm. So hopefully we won't have any contamination problems. I took some other callus and put it back onto, or put it onto um, more callus medium, fresh callus medium. Um, just to see um, if we could uh, perpetuate uh, these, uh, these lines. So the next um, update will be in a week and uh, it will be day 35 of the overall experiment and one week into the um, hormone ratio experiment.